Find out which of the following two is greater. 1.02 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's effectively a million or 9,000. Now this is very simple, right? You can't find out this particular number if you start doing it manually, right? But we know that there is something called a binomial theorem. Okay, and what does a binomial theorem does? It can provide you with the value of any numbers wherein you have x plus a to the power n, where n is normally a larger number. So in such a case, we know what is the value of 9000, but we don't know what exactly is the value of this number. But what stops us from baking 1.02 into 1 plus 0 0.02 to the power 1 million, right? Absolutely nothing. And we also know how to calculate the value of this, right? Applying the binomial expression for expansion of these kinds of equations, what can we do? We can simply write this as x plus a to the power n. And the expansion for this is what? It's basically n c 0, which is actually just 1, into a to the power n into b to the power, or rather, not a to the power n, it's actually the numbers are different x to the power n into a to the power 0 plus n c 1 into x to the power n minus 1 into a to the power 1 and so on. Okay. So let's try it out over here. We know n is equal to what? A million. So n c 0 we know is 1. So we are not getting into the calculation. 1 into x. x is what? 1. 1 to the power n which is a million into a to the power 0. a to the power 0 is again anything to raise to the power 0 is 1. Let's not kind of spend any more time there. Right? If you do the calculation 1 into this and 1 raised to any power is again 1. This So this will give us 1 plus. What's the second term? nc1. nc1 will give us c1 into x to the power n minus 1 again into a to the power 1 0 0.02 to the power 1 plus let's not go any further but I'll tell you the reason why now any number n c 1 is always equal to n right so this means that 1 million c1 will be equal to 1 million into x to the power this 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 now x in our case is 1 so 1 to this power is again going to be 1 into 0 0.02 to the power 1 0 0.02 to the power 1 plus all other terms which might be coming now please note that all these terms which are coming in ahead are positive because both the terms here are positive so we can just simply write that positive terms, right? 1 plus. Now if you multiply a million by 0 0.02, what will you get? You will get 20,000. Okay? Plus whatever number comes in. Now we know 20,000 plus 1 is 20,001 plus whatever value we may get going forward. And this number is obviously greater than 9000. Right? Hence we say that 1.02 raised to the power of a million is greater than 9000. Right? So by using the binomial expression we were able to find out that a number which seemingly small as it was with a great power is definitely greater than another number or maybe even smaller than that who knows if there's a different question right